Hey traders, this is Jeff from ZenTrader.ca. I know it's late. Most of you probably won't get this until the morning, but I wanted to do a quick update. And I want to talk about the NASDAQ, my timing signal, and my short-term bias in the general markets, uh, gold and silver. So last week, uh, my timing signal, <clears throat> it... Suggest, it's suggesting that the market is going to have a bullish bias. It hasn't actually given the buy signal yet. It's basically just suggest, suggesting that being long is really the way to go. However, with that, and, and I basically said that I was going to be trading the market from the long side. Now, uh, after the markets closed on Friday, I got to look into some charts and I noticed how everything is really overbought at least things that I'm looking at and I should, looking at this NASDAQ chart here and we have closed at the highs for three days in a row on a holiday shortened week with declining volume and we're sitting here right at resistance and so with that being said uh, I did enter a few shorts at the end of the day on Friday I'm sorry not Friday on Tuesday it felt like a Friday uh, because I think we're going to have some short-term weakness. Uh, this is a very uh, specific trade. And I will also be buying long stock when it pulls back. <clears throat> Essentially, I think playing both sides of the tape here could be the way to go. I think we're going to get some volatility. And I want to show you one chart here of the NASDAQ. This is a daily. And a while back, I had, draw I had drawn these. Uh, this is a tool on stock twits. Each so basically, you start wherever you want to start, and then you hold it, and it actually will project these out. And uh, so these are all equal. Uh, I think it's four weeks, like 20, 20 trading sessions. And I know, like, so this printed essentially a new one on Tuesday. And I started keeping track of these because there seemed to be, you know, just eyeballing some highs and lows or turning points of the market, you know, here. So here was a, I actually don't even remember why I started it here, but uh, here was a low, here was a high, here was a, a lower high, but basically the market really started to accelerate at this point. Here was a low. And on Tuesday, that this line printed again if that if that makes any sense so we could be in for maybe maybe this is a short-term top in the markets you know so essentially that would mean that my timing signal is going to get whipsawed and i just want to try to anticipate and maybe play both sides uh, i think that could be the best strategy because it's really difficult to get to get too behind on a holiday shortened week with with declining volume uh especially i don't know things I think people are maybe just a little too bullish, and myself included. Like, I found myself maybe getting sucked into that crowd. So maybe being a little defensive and maybe trading both sides and seeing, you know, how my long positions do, uh, see how the short positions play out, and kind of be hedged. So that's kind of the way, the strategy that I'm going to take for the, the last two days of this week and kind of see if I can get a better read on which way the market's going. I mean, the markets are always changing, so it's really difficult to get too locked in to a side. And I know I just said that I was going to not short stocks, but I think that that might be the way to go. Now, I want to just quickly cover gold and silver because I'm running out of time. Um, gold, I, I, I'm, I'm really bearish on uh, gold and silver right now. You know, we're seeing a, a number of lower highs on gold. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very clearly, but the Bollinger Bands are both starting to uh, point down. Uh, and, you know, the RSI has been declining. We're, we're under 50. I mean, I don't know why anybody is bullish on these markets. You look at the silver market, this is horrible, horrible RSI action. Uh, I, I mean, just look at this. I, sus I expect us to break down below this support and head much lower, you know, head down to the lower 22s. And, and gold, I mean, right now, I think we're going sub 1400 easy, but that's just my opinion. So we'll have to wait and see where these goes. But, the, but these are not bullish charts by any stretch.